Dear colleagues, my name is Mila Habib, I'm a dermatologist, and in this clinical picture, we briefly describe the case of a patient who was seen at the Leiden University Medical Center in the Netherlands. This case concerns a three-month-old boy who developed several well-defined erythematous plaques on his face. Both patient and his mother did not have any history of autoimmune disorders. Remarkably, laboratory investigations showed positive extractable nuclear antigens, ANAS, and in particular anti-SSA and anti-SSB antibodies in both patient and his mother. In order to confirm our diagnosis, a skin biopsy was obtained from a skin lesion, revealing a vacuolar interface dermatitis, dermal edema, and a periadnexal infiltrate of lymphocytes. Taken together with the clinical and lab results, we made the diagnosis of neonatal lupus erythematosus. Given the heart abnormalities associated with this condition, we referred our patients to the pediatric cardiologist who requested an ECG showing findings consistent with a first-degree atrioventricular block. Also, his mother was referred to the rheumatologist who made a diagnosis of Sjögren's Sjö syndrome. All skin lesions in our patients resolved within a few months. In summary, neonatal lupus erythematosus is a passively acquired, self-limiting autoimmune disorder. The skin, and more importantly, the heart, might be affected. A skin biopsy is not necessarily required to make the diagnosis. In approximately half of the cases, the mothers of these patients are asymptomatic at time of presentation. The skin manifestations of neonatal lupus erythematosus may result within a few months. Thank you for your kind attention.